Artyom, you know when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there. And if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You'll save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> <coughs> Artyom, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! <laughs> Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone hold Don't worry, Artyom. We'll be able to help. Alyosha is I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. Seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. So Take a seat, Bratucha. Boy, Fire away. This conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosi Pierce caused a simple error. What so we wrong. did. The legend says. Irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost as high as back in Moscow. It got me a morehead. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably. So what do we do now? Active. I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go to no. now. <laughs> not no. alright. Please. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Akadem Gorodok labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Uh, Remind him, please. There's a huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, 
Get ready for the mission! Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been to. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? The medicine is called Renogen F, and she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she was a real doctor, unlike me. I hope that would help, but Anna's case seems to be extremely unfortunate. The gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already, but it was enough to start the destructor process. Sure I don't, I understand. I'm not that dumb after all. are undamaged and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged too. 
Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me! Good luck! You can rely on us! Colonel, the situation here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short. So we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yermak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Ah, I'm out to that, Stefan. Krist, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something Adiosha. for the Aurora. There. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it! Good luck, Spartans! Good, Good luck. luck! Good luck! To save Aunt Anna? Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Goodbye, Uncle Artem. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Hannah is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Your gear, Colonel, sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. You ready? We are. So, Artem, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Saddle up. Auto 
both carriages stuck here. They failed evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. The metro entrance should be there. Alright, walking here would be easy, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. So, how do you find the road to your dream? Do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away for the moment, Artem. We can handle this. We can get out through there! Hold on! Definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artie. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. road should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow! And the storm is getting worse by the minute! Weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Okay, turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Try the court now, on the left! Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. Still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. There, that way should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car fire! It seems like a tank passed through here. Let's follow it. I hope the car could take us further. We'll have to walk from here. And we'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. The filters won't last long. Come on! Let's go! We have to move or we're done for! We're approaching a large intersection! The station entrance should be right past it! Watch out! The snow is deep!
able to get into the metro here! I'll help you open that. Let's do this. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. Get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable! Ah! Mutants again! Going to have a go at us? Let them try, I say. Straightway is blocked. Take a look around. <laughs> Take this! Are you okay? Good. Bring it on!
fear of the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of the execution videos. Lucky as always. <laughs> this isn't our mentor. We've nobody to help us here if anything happens. You break a leg. You crawl back to the Aurora alone. I gotta turn back before I find that medicine. Here, take my hand. I'll help you up. Let's move. Just watch where you're going from now on. We've lost enough time already. That leads to the tunnel. I don't like these supports. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. Outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Much dust. Abandoned a long time ago.
find something useful. If we move forward from here, we should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel. There's 
nothing to fear. We just want to talk. Come out! We won't hurt you! There's nothing to fear. We just want to talk. Hey! We know you're here! Hey! Whoa! Grab him, Artyom! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Finally! Why did you run? Come on, speak up, soldier. Identify yourself. Private Krill Klebnikov, Oscar Rapid Response Unit. And you won't get another word from me, so you can kill me now. All right, Private. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oscom. Aren't you with them? Them? Yeah, I don't know who you mean by that. But if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission. Details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the Institute. We're close, our team. Wait! All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Artyom is from the Exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! Damn! Paralysis! Give me a boost there! Come on. Please!
Private Klebnikov! You can come out now! Hey! Where did you go? Did he just run? How are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him! I'm here! Oh, he's alive! <laughs> it was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. on a mission, and there's nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, a satellite map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM Center a long time ago. So your father's on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Mm. Do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map, and we should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too again, Aurora. Over. You copy, Aurora. Over. Damn. Static again. Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us. A chance to have a real life. I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then Wait, we'll go get the car. you can't go outside with that anti rad We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. By the way, you can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. Don't forget to restore some filters, Artem. Won't have time to do that later. This map is definitely more recent. Uh, I'm sure it was here somewhere. Aha! Here it is! As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes! That one! Then, you go through the station. Then, take the right tunnel. 
This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go.
Artyom. Artyom. Come on, wake up.
You do define things in my love. love. It's, it's all right. right. I, I knew, knew you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. You are right here. here. So, so nice. nice. I'm sorry. again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... not like this.
you drive? Hooray! We're moving again. He found the map! Sick Dad is a true hero, and that he saved us all.
Still, I don't get how he's even alive. Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. <gasps> you can't go to sleep now. Well, hello there, Artyom. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical garden? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, eh? With this, ah, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool, I was simply afraid. Afraid of life. As I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. You were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. 
a really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the Colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. 